So finally, I can start. So hello everyone. Uh, today I would like to present Network Intrusion Detection Leveraging AI Methods. Okay, so I can see question marks in some faces. Network Intrusion Detection AI. But don't worry. Yeah, I'm searching for this one. Don't worry about that. I provide a story for you to make it easier to follow the topic. Okay, there are two friends in Germany in a sunny day that want to plan for traveling to Rome. Well, yeah, I know, I told you this is a true story and we rarely have sunny day in Germany. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me start again. Okay, once upon a time in a cloudy day in Germany, two friends uh, uh, are deciding uh, to go to Rome and one of them wants to pay uh, for everything and the other one uh, wants to transfer money to her friend. Okay, but what happened in the background in the internet when you want to communicate with the bank server? Well, in this case, uh, there are some packets that are go from your device uh, to the bank server and also there are some packets that are received by your device and make this communication happen. But in our story, there is a malicious user who doesn't like these two guys to go to Rome very easily. So he decided to send too many packets to the bank server and overwhelm the bank server. Then what will happen? Well, this little girl will see 404 error, which means that bank's website doesn't work. The application doesn't work. Nothing. Nothing is working right now and she cannot transfer money. Okay, then we need IT manager. What should we do? Okay, yeah, so she also is thinking that how to detect attacker before the bank server gets overwhelmed. So uh, she thinks that uh, there should be some differences between these packets that are coming from the attacker side and the packets that are coming from a normal user side. So these differences make it possible for AI. We want to use AI in order to uh, detect abnormality and also classification. So the abnormal user is an attacker right now. So uh, now what do we need for having an AI? Uh, well, data. I'm sure that most of you uh, have heard how difficult is collecting data. But she needs to collect some data from the attacker side and some data from the normal user uh, side in order to classify it. And uh, train the AI model and cool. So she creates an AI detector for network intrusion detection. So uh, and right now she is thinking that uh, she is the best uh, IT manager ever in the world, uh, but Next day, uh, another normal user wants to transfer money and uh, the normal user see a new kind of error, which means that she cannot access to the bank. Okay, what happened? That's a terrible, uh, terrible for, for the normal user because you know bureaucracy in Germany, it might take, uh, I mean, uh, ages <laughs> to solve this problem and also it is a very bad experience for bank. Okay, yeah, there are some problems with the performance detection of the AI model. So it means that our IT manager needs to minimize the false positive and false negative. Hey, what's, what is the false positive and false negatives exactly? So when you are using AI, then false positive refers uh, to the event that you have a normal user and your AI detector detected incorrectly as an attack. And false negative happens when you have an attacker and your AI detector detected incorrectly as a normal user. Okay, so she needs to minimize it to improve the performance. 
So there are different kinds of methods, uh, such as uh, capturing more data, having a complex method, a model, or using the hybrid model, both AI model and non-AI models. Great. It was a really great achievement. So she did it. She minimized false positive and false negative, and now she has an AI detector that has a very good performance. But in our story, we have a sad and disappointed attacker. And uh, he thinks that, oh, what is this AI? Come on, why can I not beat it? Okay, I will go to computer science department to learn some machine learning and AI courses. And then, yeah, we have uh, an educated attacker. Congratulations, our attacker. We are happy for you, but that's bad. Now what should you do? Now also, he knows what is AI and how to use it in order to generate new kind of attacks. Okay, so uh, our IT manager understood it, uh, uh, that uh, he is educated right now. So, but, but this attacker doesn't know that uh, uh, the, one of the sub-projects of the PhD program of our IT manager was improving robustness of AI models. Uh, so, uh, wait, wait, what, why should we improve robustness of AI model? What is it? Okay, I bring a very small uh, um, example here. Here, this is attacker. AI detector should detect it as an attacker, right? Okay, that's cool. Thank you, AI detector. Then attacker use a very small, tiny differences like using a mustache. Okay, I'm a normal user. Please consider me as a normal user. And then the AI detector, if it is robust enough, detect it as an attacker correctly. Okay, come on. I changed the color. Now, I really, I'm like a normal user. Come on. A robust AI detector correctly detect it as an attacker. Okay, therefore, we need a robust AI model. To do that, our IT manager know how to use generative AI model in order to generate new kind of samples. So now we have training data that has attacker data, normal user data, and also generated data from the generative AI model. And uh, she can train AI model based on these things. And it can significantly improve the robustness of the AI model. Really, congratulations, because she could design a robust real-time intrusion detection system with high detection performance and make the life for these two little guys easier to communicate with the bank and go to, the, go to room for a sunny day. Thank you very much.